Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on predicting the products of dissolution. Dissolution means dissolving and so if you're putting something in water and it dissolves um, that's actually pretty cool. It disappears. If you were to put salt in water you can't see the salt anymore. Something has actually happened to that salt so that you can't see it. It's dissolved. It's disappeared. What, what happens is that certain things will dissolve but other things won't. So if you were to put, say, dirt in some water, well, the dirt doesn't really dissolve, it just muddies the water. But salt would actually dissolve. You could still see through the glass of water if you put salt in the water. So what we need to see is that whether something dissolves or doesn't dissolve is based on how it's put together. So there are two basic types of of bonds that we've talked about so far. We've talked about ionic bonds where you make ions. Ions are positives and negatives and they stick together electrically. Okay, Static electricity, they charge to stick together. Okay, they're, they're like socks in the dryer. So if you have a cation, anything from the left side of the periodic table, and an anion, anything from the right side of the periodic table, they're going to electrically have an attraction for each other and they stick together and that's called an ionic bond. A molecular bond, yeah, there's an L in there somewhere, molecular or covalent bond is the other, and it is where it is sharing electrons. These are stealing electrons from each other and then becoming charges, and then the charges are attracted electrically. These are sharing electric bond, uh, electron bonds, and so they are very, very hard to break apart. These are very easy to break apart. These are like Velcro. They stick together, but you could pull your socks apart from the dryer. They're not so hard that you can't pull them apart. It's likewise, water is something that could rip apart an ionic bond very easily. Uh, water cannot rip apart a covalent bond. So if you have a covalent bond, water is not going to break it apart. If you have an ionic bond, water will easily break it apart and it dissolves. We'll talk about how that works later. All right? So if you want to know what is present in the water, you're either going to have, first of all, you'll always have water in the water. You'll have water molecules. But if you have a covalent molecule, you'll just have water plus that covalent molecule because it's not going to break apart. It's just going to stay as one piece. If you have an ionic um, molecule, which is a formula unit, if you have an ionic bond, then you're going to have water plus the cation of the plus the anion of that. They rip apart into charges. Okay, so that's really what they're asking here. Is this a molecular bond or is it a covalent bond? Or is it a covalent bond, molecular, or is it a ionic bond? Well, remember, anything that is non-metals will react covalently. They will bond covalently. Anything that's a metal and a non-metal together is going to react as, a, as, an ion, as an ion. So what's here? This one is propylene glycol. This is antifreeze, which you put in your car. So this is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen again. Remember, hydrogen, even though it's on the left side of the periodic table, is a non-metal. So all of these are non-metals. Since they're non-metals, that's a covalent bond, and water can't rip, a, rip it apart. So you're going to have water, and you're also going to have the propylene glycol. And those are the two things you're going to have. I guess you have a comma there. Okay. What about this? Nickel to iodide. All right. Anything that has the uh, Roman numeral must be a transition metal. So it's a metal. And then iodine is in group seven. That's a nonmetal. So this is a metal and a nonmetal. That's an ion. Okay. Nickel two is going to be positive two. That's what the two is for. So we know that's a cation. Iodide is going to be negative one since it's in group seven. There's two of the negative ones to balance. So these are ions. So you're going to have three things in the water. You're going to have the water, not three things in the water. You're going to have the water. Then you're going to have the nickel, and it is two positive since it's nickel two. They kind of gave it to you. 
and then the iodine is not I2 because there's two of these. It's just going to be I, and remember it's in group 7, so that's negative 1. So it's going to be it's going to be hot water plus nickel 2 plus plus iodine 1 negative. What about methanol? Okay. Methanol is an alcohol. A alcohol seems to go away in water because it's clear, but really it's staying put. It's not ripped apart like salt would be ripped apart because these are all nonmetals. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, those are all nonmetals. So it's going to be a covalent bond. Covalent bonds are not ripped apart by water. So I'm just going to have it stay the same. I've got water plus the methanol. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed it.